looking like, oh my, she's black. <laughs> yes, I am, and big and fabulous. What's going on? You know, I'm really glad to be in Montreal, but the one thing I didn't see a lot of was big women. I did not see a lot of big women in Montreal. Do y'all eat? <laughs> you know, I didn't see a lot of the buffets, and that really upset me. I'm big on all you can eat. I, that made me a little angry, and I don't take little women to the buffet with me because they can't read, and they don't follow directions well. The buffet says $5.99, all you can eat. She gets one plate. I'm ready to go home. I'm full. I'm going to spend the night. I'm following directions. All you can eat, you eat until it's gone. That's what you're supposed to do. All you can eat. <laughs> and you know what I noticed? Most black women are very comfortable with their size. You white women, you jog, you exercise, you eat a piece of grapefruit, then you jog, you exercise, you eat a celery stick, then you jog, you exercise, you eat a carrot. I'm eating a steak and a hamburger, and I'm going to lay down, go to sleep, have me a milkshake, wake up, I'm going to eat a steak and hamburger, lay down, go to sleep. You know, that's how we do things. It's just different. It's just very different with black women and white women. You know what I'm saying? We just do things differently. Like, you'll never see a black woman in a horror picture. Never. Because we don't, we're not, we don't play with the monster. White women, y'all go look for the monster. You go outside and you call them. Jason? Is that you, Jason? We're here in the back of the house in the basement. Come find us, Jason. No way. Not black women. So you can have two white women in the house. They ain't seen each other in five hours. One upstairs, one in the basement. One upstairs hear noise in the basement. <laughs> Becky? <laughs> Becky, is that you downstairs? I'm coming down, Becky. She go downstairs and get chopped up right along with Becky's dead ass. <laughs> Let it be two black women. They ain't seen each other in five minutes. One upstairs, one in the basement. The one upstairs hear noise. <laughs> Lucretia, you play too much. I'll see you back in the car, bitch. I'm not playing. <laughs> you know, black women and white, we just do things differently. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm so glad to be in Montreal because it's such a diverse place when, when it comes to just for laughs. It's such a mixed crowd. And black people and white people, we need to overcome this anger. We're just mad at each other. We don't know why we're mad at each other. We are not each other's enemy. We're not the enemy. It's the Chinese people we need to watch out for. <laughs> That's what we got to be careful of. It's the Chinese people. They open up a laundromat and close all this down. <laughs> But I love us, baby. I love the way we do things. We raise our kids differently. I think we need to take classes with each other. White folk, beat your kids. Beat your kids when you go home tonight, wake them up. <laughs> what I do, nothing but just in case. You gotta beat your kids. Had Jeffrey Dahmer's parents beat his ass, he wouldn't have ate those people. He just ate people. All right. But you know what? Jeffrey started eating things when he was a kid. He didn't just start eating folk when he became an adult. He was eating the little animals in the neighborhood when he was growing up, eating the little animal pets. Jeffrey, have you seen Scruffy? Rope. <laughs> he didn't eat Scruffy's little ass. That's where Scruffy is. Just got to be careful how you do things. See, for me, I whip my kids. Every chance I get, they don't have to do anything. I just whip them. They can be in the supermarket. If you show your ass in aisle three, clean up in aisle three. You gotta, you gotta, you know, just get on them. And see, when we're married, we do our relationships differently. See, and I take my hat off to white women. You know how to be married. You know how to shut up. You know how when an argument has come to an end. You know how to say, you know what, I'm gonna let this go. Not a black woman. We will get the last word on your ass. We don't care if we're in a coma. We gonna say what we gotta say. <laughs> we don't care, baby. Look, don't you say nothing else. Mm-hmm. We're going to get the last word. See, a little white couple have an argument in the morning time. She's going to apologize because she want him to go to work and concentrate on making his money. She's going to say, hey, 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 <laughs> Peter. <laughs> That's the most popular name I can think of. <laughs> Peter, I want to say that I'm sorry for what I did this morning. It's all my fault. <laughs> Have a wonderful day, Peter. I love you. Not our black ass. We don't care about Leroy's job. We don't care about him going to work. And see, black men, we ha black men have a habit 
of starting an argument and saying the last word and leaving like the argument's supposed to be over. All right, bitch, see you later. <laughs> oh, that argument ain't over, my brother. I'm coming to your job. <laughs> Can I speak to Leroy, please? <laughs> and now Leroy done lost his job because you'd have been up there two times in one day. So they fired his black ass and he's sitting home on the bed crying and the black woman will not apologize. Leroy crying, he upset, he don't know what he gonna do. She just looking at him. <laughs> well, you should have let me say what I had to say for you left out of here. <laughs> we just different, baby. We just totally different. But I'm married, have a wonderful, wonderful husband. And I think the reason I fell in love with my husband, when we first got together, we were gonna make love and be passionate. And I took my clothes off. You know, I'm trying to be sexy. You know, and I oiled myself down real nice, put my heels on. And I'm standing in the doorway posing, you know, voguing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and when he cut the lights on, the look on his face was like, oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I married him, baby, because he loved me. You know, it's just, it's just different things, different ways we do things. Like, I'm going to tell you something with Michael Jackson. Now, Michael Jackson, he's not white or black. He's beige. <laughs> he's beige. You know, but you do not let your kids go with a beige man. I don't care. I don't care who he is. You do not let your kids go with a beige man. He done did it to all them little children at the Never Never Land, the little monkey bubbles. You don't see the bubbles no more, do you? Because bubbles told on his beige ass. He told that Michael Jackson was doing bad things to them children. And you know why I think I got a little frustrated behind that? Because after it was all said and done, they paid that little boy $56 million. So what that said to me is, y'all accepted what this grown man did to this little boy. You just paid, paid for your kid to be a little kid prostitute. Go ahead. It's all right. You're going to get money. Lots of money. That's disgusting. Because I have two wonderful sons two beautiful little black kings that I'm raising. And I told my sons, if you see that nasty, perverted man walking down the street, just poke your butt out a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit, we can get you some help. Stop crying, it's your brother turn. Go on, go on now. <laughs> just gotta handle things differently. Like with all the stuff with the president. People lost their mind because our president got a service. <laughs> he got a service. That comes with being president. You're supposed to get that service. And I was saying to myself, Clinton, hold your ground. Don't break. Stay in your position. You are the president of the United States of America. Stay in your ground. Don't break under pressure. And then he broke under pressure. Ken Starr knows the ass made him break under pressure. Then he came back on national TV and said, America, I've lied. I got the service. <laughs> a black man wouldn't have broke. I don't give a damn if you got a Polaroid picture and a VCR tape. He ain't gonna break. He gonna hold his ground. Hold up, hold up, hold up. She going to the right, I go to the left. That ain't me, that ain't me. Montreal, my name is Monique, God bless you. Thank you so much. Hey.